Oh yeah, hey guys, it's Mark Shea, you're watching another episode of Exploring Australia and I got something really special for you, so check it out! Live it up, pay the toll, following the white line to free our soul, the UHS on 25, we got a combo! Okie dokie, so we're locked in our house, not allowed to go anywhere. And that sucks, especially for something called Exploring Australia. <laughs> anyway guys, I told you last time in the hiking video that we were trying out stuff. So we we're organizing gear and that. So I thought, well, I'm gonna take this time and I'm gonna start working out my gear for these hikes that we're gonna do. So as soon as we're allowed to go out into the bush and do the scrub into the back country or whatever you wanna call it, then we're gonna be ready and we're just gonna go out and start filming some stuff. So I thought, oh, well, I'll start organizing my gear. Now, I don't have much money. I'm sure a lot of you people are like that too. So you see all these videos, especially of gear, and you know, you know they're, they're, they're ultra light tents and this, that, and the other and it's like $600 for an ultralight Z-Pax tent. You know, I'd love one, I ain't got the money for that. And look, look I'm, I'm outside, there's gonna be noises, so if you hear dogs and all that, I'm not apologizing, we're outdoors, hello. Anyway, <laughs> um, so my, my stuff is solely on budget. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna see the gear I have and they're gonna go, oh my God, there's so much weight. Well, I'm a big boy. I know I can handle some weight. Um, I love, you know, if I hike enough, I'll lose the weight and it'll make up for the weight I'm carrying. <laughs> but, so my, my gear selection, oh, camera's switching. My gear selection is totally based on what I can afford. Now, okay, yeah, there is some things with weight. Now, I've got a three-man tent. Okay, it's a big tent. And of course, if I'm hiking with Vanessa, that you've seen in my videos, well, that can do us both. But that thing's like four kilos, you know, yeah, even more. Yeah, it's a huge tent, you know, but if I had to, I was gonna cart it around. And then I found something. I was just looking through all the tents and seeing all these itty, crazy, crazy prices. Um, and then I found a tent called, it's for 80 bucks. $80 is supposed to be a two-man tent, but of course like with a lot of the hiking tents The two-man is basically comfortable for one with some gear So I found this two-man tent and I just bought it because it's 80 bucks for a full-on tent $80 and it weighs two kilos uh, oh, Well just over two kilos, so it's five pounds. I put on the scale. It was five pounds. So this might be something for interesting for you guys to um, that are worried about money and don't have much. So I thought, well, I'll do an unboxing. Why, while I'm at home doing nothing, why not just do some gear videos and show you what I'm up to and what's going to come up on Exploring Australia when we get into the hiking side of things. So, there's a couple things I want to do because I've been interested in a couple channels and they use a lot of tarp stuff as well. So I wanted to look at tarp camping, just to have a suss it out. So I found this awesome site. If you're in Australia, I don't know if they do overseas, but um, the tent I got was for 80 bucks from Snowy's. Now this is, I'm not endorsed by anybody. So the gear that you're gonna see is totally just what I bought because it was inexpensive. I'm hoping it's not cheap, but it's just inexpensive. So, um, none of the gear that I'm promoting, you know, so if I bag it out, that's because I think it's shit. If I like it, it's because I really like it. So I have no idea what I'm about to do, so I thought I'll do an unboxing video. And so I bought um, a Rainfly, which is $30, and it kind of looks like it worked like a tarp. So I thought, what the hell? 30 bucks. I'm you know, I don't have to pay for shipping because I've ordered the tent for 80. And of course I got a couple dry sacks because I've never had any of those. I wanted to check them out. But So I thought, let's do an unboxing video. So I went to Snowy's, um, the website on Snowy's, 
and that you know they've got a big sale on at the moment so check them out but this tent that I've, I'm gonna show you is uh, $80 it's called the Oz Trail Nomad 2 now the reason why I wanted to do this is because it looks interesting and there's only one video I could find on YouTube about this so I thought well why don't I just do a review so we're gonna unbox this and then I'm going to set up the Nomad 2 and we'll have a look at it together because I have no clue there's just one video that kind of walks around the tent so I don't really know much about it um, but hey 80 bucks just over two kilos yeah, it sounds better than what the four or five kilo three-man giant tent that I was gonna carry around so shall we just see what we got and set up a tent and, uh, and later on I'll do one for the rain fly and that and I'll, I'll go through some of my gear if you're in if you're interested so let me know in the comments if you're interested but let's just get to the unboxing eh? okay yes I cut the thing open ah. Yeah, I got dry sacks down there. This is the rain fly that I'm going to be looking at. And yeah. come on, focus up. And this is the tenor book. It looks quite interesting. So it's the Nomad 2 hiking tent. Lightweight, no fuss, hiking tent, fit size. A tent size to fit two users. So we'll see about how good they are. Like I said, I haven't seen anything of it, and if this is really good, I thought you might be interested in seeing what the tent's like. If you like the video, hit like, um, and hit the notification bell when you subscribe, and that way you'll be notified of all the future videos coming up, and tell me if you're interested in seeing more gear stuff. Okay, so I'm outside. There's gonna be noise, deal with it. <laughs> okay, so we are doing, let's get in focus the uh, Nomad 2 hiking tent from Oztrail. Now, like I said, I haven't seen anybody do this tent. Like I've seen one video where the guy had the tent set up and it was just, yeah, set up. He walked around it, gave enough information that I was interested. I looked it up and yeah, Ooh. But yeah, so as you can see, it packs down pretty small better than the three-man tent I got it's just twice the size of this and like out here just too huge I was really thinking how how am I gonna cut that around so we're going to see it I'm gonna set it up for you so I'm gonna be I have just opened it, as you saw so I got no idea how to set it up so we're gonna have a look at it and so there's gonna be probably a lot of fast-forward caption what it comes in it comes with a guide, there's the case, okie dokie, let's open it up, is that, so I'm probably not dressed for this sort of thing, I should probably be in shorts and that, but I'm shooting other videos as well, oh I was shooting other videos that you'll see on the channel, but these are temples. You got some steaks, and that looks like the. F that's obviously the body, and that's the fly. So, I'm going to have a quick read of the instructions. Although probably probably straightforward, but I'll just double check any graphs that they got in that, and then I will record myself setting it up. Okay, so it looks pretty straightforward. It looks like a standard tent. Now, one thing about it is it's not a square or a round thing. It's actually like a coffin shape, which I found really, really interesting, so I thought I'll give it a try. So. Let's stake it out. Let's see what poles we got. 
two sets. Oh, this is looks pretty straightforward. Like I said, as they say, he says it's a two-person tent. Bloody flies. Go away. But like most of the two-person tent, it actually fits one person really well with their gear. So I guess we will soon see. Uh, again, I'm hoping that the autofocus is doing its job. <laughs> Okay, so so far it's pretty straightforward. And it was that quick to do. So let's have a closer look at it, eh? Okay, so we're having a look. Now I could you see me set it up. It's only it was a real quick setup. I could set it up a bit better. So and like you saw, it's got more of the coffin shape. But look at the size of those vestibules. So you can put stuff under there, you can cook under there. It has the vents here and the little stiff things here that keep them open for condensation. Now, it does have a vent flap here. All right, but the tie downs are attached to it. So you just take off the tie downs, roll it up and do that. So it just means that part's not tied down, but you can stake out Things a bit better. Like here's the rain fly. I could probably stake this. I probably could stake this a bit better. And let me just lighten it up for you. Wrong way. Yeah, so I could probably stake the rain fly out further than the the tub. But yeah. So you got a little vent in there. And it does roll up. So now I can stand up, I got a duck in the air. Okay, so shall we actually have a look? So now you've walked all the way around the tent. So it is actually a lot bigger than I thought. So I'm just going to stop it here and we're going to open it up and open up the sides. Well, just so you can see what the sides do. All right, you got the Velcro. Whee! Velcro here and a zip. Zip comes all the way up, like that. So when I get back, I'll have that all open. We got it open. Now one thing I absolutely love is this thing here. Their tie-offs actually have a locking thing so you can actually tighten it up where it's not just something you just put through the loop and it just sits there. You can actually tighten it up so you get a really good secure fit. So that's what that looks like. I haven't done the flap because you saw that it's a vent and you can see there's one pole that goes up and over that's what holds the height and there's another pole here that does the floor so let's actually go inside and see how big it is Okay, so I'm gonna have to lighten this up. Oh. Okay. So I'm 6'1. I'm laying flat. And this is 2'5. 
turn around. I've got that over. I'm going to talk about that in a second. We're just going to come around. I've got no idea if I'm even going to be in focus. Hello. So I hope you can see me probably. I've probably got a double chin like crazy looking like this. But I've got heaps of headroom. Like I said, I'm 6'1". I haven't moved. And we go around. You can see the door. And the feet are there. And the vent. And again, like I was saying, it's coming up here. See, like with the fly mesh, it's really thin. And a lot of times you just hook it on and then they can unravel and that. But this, you can actually pin it down. So, I want to show you the vestibule section. So it does have a pretty decent vestibule and you could tighten this down, you could use the tie points for the door and hold it out. So let me put my hand on the ground, so if that gives you any idea of the size of the vestibule, you can see the wall, but you got one of these on each side, like, so you could throw your pack over here if you needed to. If you had two people you could put a pack in this side. So. But right now, I'm going to lay down on my side, right on the edge. And there is plenty of room for a second person. It'd be tight, it'd be snug. Ain't going to lie. So, it would be tight for a second person in here, but... You'd still be comfortable. You know, you have to be close friends. <laughs> um, but this tent is absolutely unreal. Fly screen is awesome, and it's just something really simple for eighty dollars. So, what more would you want? The floor seems nice and thick, and it's just typical nylon. You know, it's like a thicker rain fly. You know, it's a tiny bit thicker than the rain fly. So, how big's the tub? There's my hand. It does sort of like go off down sharply, but hey, that's part of the design. So, oh, look, I'm not going to complain. Okay, so my battery died. <laughs> but yeah, okay, what I was I talking about before was the angle of it and all that. And it's like, look, if you're going to really bug about that sort of stuff, then go spend the hundreds of dollars on a Z Pax triple, you know, three person tent and all that sort of stuff. You know, this is an $80 tent. What more do you want? You know, it, it's not cheap, it's inexpensive. That's the way I'm looking at it. I actually think it's really good for the, really good value for the price. I think the design was really well thought of. So, I'm not complaining. I think it's great. And look, if I had $600, I'd buy the z Pax 2 Duplex, or add an extra 100 and get the z Pax 3 Plex, or whatever it's called. You know, and then I have to get trekking poles, you know, which trekking poles, you know, a decent set of trekking poles is what, 150 bucks or something, and some of them are $150 each. You know, it's, a, it's like I said, I don't have that kind of money. But do I stop it? Do I let the money stop me from hiking? This is an awesome little tent. I'd love to get it out, you know. It's, I, I've used Austral tents before, the material seems all the same, so I know it's going to be waterproof. Uh, it's just it's just going to be fun to use. And it's 80 bucks. Hey, and if you guys all rush out and buy it, it'll probably go up a little. But <laughs> I think it was an awesome buy. So tell me what you think in the comments. And yeah, I don't know. Let's wrap this up. Whoa! I think it's awesome. Um, 80 bucks, it took no time, no effort, you didn't really need the instructions. It's pretty intuitive. I think it's an awesome tent for 80 bucks. And just over two kilos, five pounds, um, which is about two and a quarter kilos. Can't complain, can't wait to take it out. So let me know what you think of it. And yeah, tell me in the comments. As I said before, hit like, 
hit subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And yeah, tell me what you think. This is the Oz Trail Nomad 2. Like I said, I'm not being paid for this. This is something that I thought was really cool, and I know there's only one video out there that really shows this tent. So I wanted to do a proper one and let you see for yourself, especially if you're on a really strict budget and you're like, I want a hiking tent, but I can't afford $600, or I can't afford to spend, you know, for us in Australia, you can't afford to spend, you know, a couple hundred dollars and then have it shipped, which costs a couple hundred dollars from America and things like that. So like I said, I got this from Snowy's. Again, not sponsored. They did awesome. They took the order, sent it straight out, and I got it straight after the lock. I ordered just before these long Easter weekend. We got it straight after. Shipped out. Real quick. Can't complain. I love it. Cannot wait to try this out. Anyway, guys, that's me. I'm Mark Shea. This is Exploring Australia. I hope you've enjoyed it. Till next time. See ya!